Let's get right to it. A few people have asked me about the DBA role. Why haven't I focused on the DB role when I spent most of my career doing it? Three reasons. The data engineer pays more. The second reason is the data engineer is an easier role. Lastly, you need to be far more technical to be a DBA than you do any other data role, including the machine learning engineer. DBAs simply aren't paid well enough for what they know. Let's take a step back. A DBA is one of the top roles in all of IT. I'll put a link to the video I did below on the core data roles in the comment section. DBA is an acronym that stands for Database Administrator. A DBA can administrate a few vendor databases, but the best will only focus on one. I've worked with SQL Server most of my career. There are two core databases in the real world. One of those is Oracle, and the other is SQL Server. Now, there are others. For example, there's MySQL and PostgreSQL. However, if you talk to any DBA that's been around a while, you'll often hear MySQL and Postgres called toy databases. That simply means they aren't up to the real-world workloads that Oracle and SQL Server can handle. I'm seeing this right now. I'm moving five different types of databases to a data warehouse called Snowflake, and Postgres and MySQL are a nightmare. Let's look at a role for a SQL Server DBA. The max salary they want to provide you is 135 k This is low for any senior anything in IT, especially for a SQL Server DBA. Look at what they want you to know. They want you to develop and maintain their ETL processes. This is an entirely separate skill from being a DBA. They want this DBA to author triggers, functions, and views. Again, this is often the domain of the SQL Server developer and not the DBA. That's all I need to read before I ignore this job. I move on to the next one. They aren't paying this person enough for what they want that person to do. Now let's contrast that with the Snowflake Data Engineer. This role is paying 80 to 150 an hour. Now, if you're bad at math, I'll help you out. That's about double the salary as that DBA role we just looked at. And the only thing you need to know is Snowflake. That's it. Now, if you don't want my advice and you still want to become a SQL Server DBA, just head over to Udemy and type in Mike West in the Udemy search. You'll see 50 courses under my name. And 30 of them will show you everything you need to know in order to become a SQL Server DBA. I'd suggest you start with how to begin your career as a SQL Server DBA. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And have a great day. We'll see you soon.